Hi, I am Xavier from Army Recognition. Welcome to AAD 2014, the largest defense exhibition in South Africa, where Paramount Group is unveiling for the first time its advanced reconnaissance light aircraft. Paul Potgieter, I'm program manager for the ARLAC program. ARLAC stands for Advanced High Performance Reconnaissance and Light Attack, and, I, and, and that sums it up. It's a multi role platform, an everyday aircraft that you can operate every day. It's not expensive to operate, but it's got a vast mission capability. I think in the world today, uh, terrorism is becoming a, a bigger threat every day, small threats, not massive wars. And the solution currently is for fighter jet or a UAV, and there's nothing in between. So this is a, a, that's this is the in-between plane, everyday use, everyday border patrol, cost-effective. It can sense an aircraft, a target by itself, but it can also destroy it by itself. It doesn't need other support. It doesn't need ground support equipment. It's a very robust aircraft. I think in performance, uh, it's powered by Pratt and Whitney PT6, which makes it a, a very dependable engine. That engine allows us to fly anything between 60 knots and 300 knots. We can fly nap of the earth up to 39,000 feet. Uh, ARLAC is fitted with 25 hardpoints all over the airframe. Uh, we've got six under wing hardpoints. We've got a big belly hardpoint, wingtips, nose, tail, everywhere. And what that allows you is it gives the client or the country the capability to fit whatever they can imagine on this aircraft. We've really tried and kept the architecture, both the software and the hardware, as open as we could. When we started out, it was designed for Africa. It's a robust aircraft, a high wing, big undercarriage. But what happened is I think the world has got the same problems than Africa, and it became an international aircraft very quickly. We are currently building the second prototype. So the first prototype is there for aerodynamic testing, aircraft system testing. The second prototype is currently under manufacture, and that will focus more on mission computers, weapons integration, radar integration, camera integration. And then from there, we're busy setting up the production line and we'll uh, conquer the world. Uh, my name is Mark Berg. Um, I have worked for Aerosuit uh, since the middle of 2012 and I joined this project as the development pilot for the aircraft, for uh, um, developing operating procedures for the aircraft as well as um, sort of um, cockpit philosophy, that sort of thing. Uh, the aircraft, um, considering that it has a fully manual flight control system, is remarkably easy to fly. It's, uh, I had uh, some reservations and some doubts um, in the beginning, um, especially because the whole flight control system on the ground initially to me felt a little bit um, ungainly and a bit awkward. But in flight, uh, it seems all these flight controls, when they're loaded aerodynamically, it seems to come alive and it's very, very light, uh, very responsive inputs. Um, there's no sort of play in the system, nothing like that. Uh, it's very easy to fly. Very in Initially, um, you find yourself making very large inputs unnecessarily and then kind of overcorrecting the aircraft. So it takes a very light touch, um, almost an instantaneous pitch response because the elevator is powered directly behind the propeller. Um, and then the roll response as well is remarkably um, easy. Very, very easy and small inputs required for a very crisp and beautiful response. 